Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the error connection refuse that you might get in Google Chrome or any other web browser. So in this brief tutorial I'm going to be walking you guys through how to hopefully resolve this. And this is pretty straightforward and this is very similar to other DNS errors you might be getting. So it might seem kind of repetitive but this is definitely a different type of error that's common enough that people get. So I did want to make a tutorial dedicated specifically to this error. So we're going to start by right clicking on the start button. And then we're going to go up to where it says command prompt and then in parentheses admin. And you want to left click on that. If you receive a user account control window, select yes. So now in the command prompt you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash release and then hit enter on your keyboard. Once that command is done executing, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash all, then hit enter again. Now you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, and then hit OK. Once that's done, type ipconfig space forward slash renew, then hit enter again on your keyboard. This will take a couple seconds to run, especially that command, so just be patient. And once that's done, you can type in NETSH, so net sh space int space ip space set space dns. So it should be NETSH int ip set dns, and then hit enter on your keyboard. Once that's done, you want to type in NET SH space Winsock W I N S O C K and then another space and then type reset. Then hit enter one more time on your keyboard. At this point, I'd recommend restarting your computer as it is advised by this command line. So restart your computer. And once your computer is restarted, I will be right back. Okay everybody I'm back. So once your computer has come back from restart what you're going to do is go down to the network icon in the bottom right corner of your screen. It might look different than mine because I'm using an Ethernet connection so it looks like a monitor with a little Ethernet cord next to it. In most cases it'll look like a wireless symbol like a cell phone tower kind of icon if you want to think about it like that. So you want to right click on it. And then left click on where it says Open Network and Sharing Center after you right clicked on the icon. You could also access this by searching it in the Start menu, it doesn't really matter. And then at the top left, you're going to left click on the hyperlink that says Change Adapter Settings. Now whichever primary adapter you are using on your computer, you want to right click on it. So if there's multiple, make sure you select your primary one. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but try and do the primary one the first time around. So right-click on it, because most, most of you guys are not going to be using Ethernet as your primary connection. It might say Wi-Fi. You want to right-click on the Wi-Fi one if that's the correct connection. But anyway, since Ethernet's the right one for me in my instance, I'm going to right-click on it. And then at the bottom of this context menu, I'm going to left-click on the Properties button. In this new window that appears, we are going to left click on where it says Internet Protocol Version 4 and then in parentheses TCP forward slash IPv4. So left click on that. And once you've left click on that, you want to left click on the properties button that is now no longer grayed out right here. So left click on that. The bottom section where it says obtain DNS server address automatically left click on the selection underneath that says use the following DNS server address. Now for the preferred DNS server you want to type 8 and then using your mouse click into the next section type 8 again next section you want to type 8 and 8 and then the alternate DNS server you want to do 8.8.4.4 this is Google's own DNS server address please make sure you type it in exactly how it appears on the screen and I, please note that I was mentioning you have spaces in between here because you can type up to three characters inside each one of these sections and this is not right, you do not want to do that. 
make sure it appears exactly how it appears on my screen here. So it should be 8.8.8.8 for the preferred DNS server and it should be 8.8.4.4 for the alternate DNS server. Once you're done doing that, left click on OK. You can also validate your settings after you close out of it. You don't have to, but that's definitely an optional task you can create for yourself. So at this point, you can close out of your internet adapter settings and go back on your favorite websites and hopefully everything should work for you guys. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.